What's up? This is Brandon Donahue, and you're listening to the All Bass No Trouble podcast, where we talk all things hip hop, culture, music, lifestyle, and more. So kick back and join myself and my co-host as we feature our next special guest this week. What's up, fam? You know what time it is. We are on another episode of All Bass No Trouble this week. As always, I'm your host, Brandon Donahue. To my left, Jordan Dante. Hey, Seuss Rangel, welcome mm. back, my boy. My you boy. You. We thought he was going to come back a rapper or a trash Laker player, but it's all good. He's here. He's hey, the, the, inter- the interview is with me today. <laughs> For That's real. Actually, yes. That's actually, yeah, actually very true. true. If you could please, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, a, uh, we got the young artist, the young bull in the building, Styles. Welcome. Uh, up, let bro? the people know what you do, man, what you've been working on. What's up, bro? I'm Styles. Uh, I basically mm. produce, fashion designer, model. Um, just a young creative, like what he said earlier. Yeah, you got to do it all crazy. nowadays. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you can't do like one thing and stick in that lane. Nah, not if you want to be rich, bro. Yeah, they always yeah. say you got to have multiple incomes. Like, well, that's my income. problem, bro. Is I yeah. can't like stick with like one thing. I get like too like antsy. I get like you see, I'm trying to do clothes, podcast, yeah, marketing, every day, yeah. marketing. Every, every I ain't income. got a nine to five. I'm out here doing Ella. How, I call how him every you? month and he got a new job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> for, <laughs> for real though, he really. I'm just trying to get the bread, bro. I'm he about to be a ball player. He said today. He said <laughs> his jumper go crazy. Hey, don't sleep on me, bro. Yeah. I literally, man, I'll shoot the dollars. Bro, with anybody, cat, bro. Cat, bro. No oh, cap. Yeah. How, how old he are you? Can cap. I'm 25. You're 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You're not like young, 25. young. I thought yeah. when you said young, I thought it was like 21 or something. Like, well, I'm gonna be honest, man. I ain't. I don't be talking about this, but like when I first met this young man, when I first met this young man four years ago, I was what 23. He was like, yeah, I'm 24. I'm like, all right. I'm like, man. I'm like, man. Yeah, like he cool, like yeah. cool dude. Like, like, he he dressed nice. I'm like, all right, man. He like 24. I remember we just chilling. I think we was just chilling, like smoking or whatever. He was like, seen his ID. I'm like, think are you 21? Like, <laughs> why? Are you, like, dude, bro? Bro, you like, gotta be, you gotta be careful, man. Yeah, you might be 20. Like, you gotta be careful, bro. I'll even put my cell phone blast when I was when I was in the streets and mm-hmm. I was out there. I took this girl out. You be in we, the streets now? No, I'm not in the streets no, <laughs> no more. Cap. Nope. Um, I'm retired. I'm retired. That boy, like Coach. Mike the shoes. He threw them bitches up on the ground. <laughs> the fucking shit is on a light line. post somewhere hey, dangling. Right with you, yeah. Bro. Hey, I'm bro. Let's go, man. We all retired, bro. We retired. But uh, no, man, you got to be with when it's just want to touch on like the ID thing. Like I took this girl out one time, like day was smooth, all that. Like, cool. She hit me up like three weeks later. Like, yo, come out for my 21st. I said, 21st? We, we went out the other night. We got drinks. What you mean? What you mean? I was like, oh, man. I was She's like, like whoop. Yeah, stop, yeah, stop, like, stop that immediately. Because then all the homies like, where'd she go? You're yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like, yeah. I don't want to talk about it, bro. <laughs> nah, nah I, this has been my little bro, man, for the last four or five years since I've been yeah. in LA. No, Probably my first bro, friend. He yeah, always I mean, says just, little bro, but he's he is like my two little bro. years older than me. Like, I'm, <laughs> and I'm taller than I'm him. I'm three like. years older than this <laughs> yeah, man. You know what that reminds me of? Uh, you watch ATL, the movie? Uh, yeah, of course. It's like Shouty. Yeah. Shouty? What you mean, Shouty? I'm taller than you, <laughs> son. Yeah. I ain't your son. <laughs> That's like everyone Amazing. calls me little B back home still to this day. Like, I'm like bigger I'm than all of them. You. I'm yeah. you I was, I was the first. Man, huh? I was the first. Ba- the first base guy. Just I, I was gonna know. say you probably rap like him too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Rap like him too. I mean, it's crazy. Wait, though. where are you from? I'm from Massachusetts originally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, see, that makes sense in Massachusetts. You fucking call everybody kid on the East Coast anyway. Yeah. You're fucking forty. Oh, that fucking kid. That fucking kid down the street. He's forty. Yeah, he's forty. He's got grown ass. That is my grandfather. Walk in. Walk into my. Grandpa, yo, what's up, kid? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but are you are you from LA originally? No, I'm from Texas, bro. Oh, where? What part of Texas? Uh, Dallas. Oh, okay, yo, Dallas is a dope city, bro. Yeah, bro. A lot of people like don't realize a lot of fashion. There's a lot of fashion in there, like from Texas like area. the yeah, from like just like the urban side to like the countryside to the to the fucking rock side. Like mm. there's hella different sides of it that you see. Mm-hmm. So I grew up just seeing that a lot. So it kind of helped me um, just kind of determine, like, where I wanted to go with my fashion. Yeah, it's dope. And, like, I kind of incorporated it all. Like, today I'm wearing fucking Def Leppard. He's wearing Iron Maiden, like. Yeah, and that became, fashion. like, the, the rock tees and all that shit. I feel like that just happened probably, like, with what, in the past three oh. years? Nah, hell no. Nah. Kanye, Kanye probably, like, the last, like, 10, man. Yeah. Kanye made that shit pop in, like, Metallica tees. I feel like, but now in the past three years, I see him 
all the time. Like uh, everybody yeah, got yeah. a lot of graphic yeah. tees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's graphic tees everywhere. But it's know. hard to find the vintage looking. The ones, vintage like, actual like from the show instead shirts, of are like crazy. the printed ones that yeah. they're doing, like they're set, yeah. selling at Urban or H and M. Yeah, and shit like that. No, but, it's huge difference too, and you can tell by the bro, quality and exactly. look at them too. And it's like that's why that uh, should be expensive. Boy. Yeah, the shirts like that be like three hundred. Yeah, one fifty, three hundred, five hundred. I've been seeing vintage shirts for five hundred. I'm like, but never. No, yeah, walk out, walk out, matters. Yeah, I wanted. That shit bad. Tell me, why, tell me why I went to my uh, dad's closet the other day and I found so many vintage. We don't need to rock. talk about oh, that man's man. closet. Bro. That man don't even touch. It was crazy. <laughs> I, was like, yo, I, I took this one. I was like, he doesn't even know about I'm it. I'm so. dead. <laughs> He's gonna see this video. He's like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? You took my shirt. Hey, hey, I'll <laughs> never forget. We gonna keep that one on there too. I got I some holes edit that in it too, bro. He can't see it. <laughs> and I'll never forget when you told me you were like, yeah, like my dad got sent this shirt and like. He just threw it away. The V long shirt. Oh yeah. He just bro. was like, I don't know what this is. Threw it so, away. Hey, sometimes I be like that, bro. <laughs> Man, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Let me get that. That's three. No, nah, what it was is it was too small for him. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we got rid of it. Threw it that's away. Cool. That's bro, wild. he threw it away. I that's found it nice. in the trash. I was like, what? He's living nice though. That's okay. He could do that. So uh so Styles, tell us a little bit about your journey, like how you got out to LA since you're from Dallas, you know. Yeah, um, how old were you when you got out here and stuff? I was I was 18, 19, because it was a year after young. college. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, w- I came from Texas Tech. Mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all know where that is, like mm-hmm. Lubbock, Texas. Of course. Crazy. You, cra- you did all four years there? Or you, nah, you dipped I just early. did one year there, you bro. Dipped early? And then I dipped and I went to San Diego. Word. And then, uh, yeah, San Diego was crazy. That's when I started DJing. I forgot to incorporate that in there. Yeah, yeah, nah, see, incorporate it now. That's what I'm talking about. I have so see, many things that I do, I forget. You got, that's, that's the <laughs> that's point. You're going you're gonna to tell them as we go. That's the point of it. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so when you came out here, 18, 19, San Diego first, and you start DJing. Yeah. Okay. So I started doing a lot of like house Like in the clubs parties. or house parties? Nah, yeah. So it was the house parties. And then um, it started getting to the clubs whenever I'm, I came to LA and I moved down here. Okay. Um, I met this promoter, Tommy. Um, he kind of- Buns. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so Tommy. Tommy he got me involved with a couple clubs, um, like Sky Bar. Mm, um, mm-hmm. uh, I've done Boosie a couple times. Mm, word, but yeah, that shit was popping, and um, it's fun. But like now, I'm kind of going into the house party, like yeah. the more house house tempo type up tempo shit. Yeah, like I'm tired of DJing like hip hop, like. Really? So you kind of you get over that. Get well, over if you've that. DJed too before, so is that? Yeah. Would you say that's common? Do you get tired of hearing the same? Yes. Yeah. I, I think I'm I'm on that boat as far as a listener is concerned, like yeah. hip hop right now, because you know it's kind of the same thing over and over and again. It's funny yeah. you say that. It's hard. One of my boys that's DJing too. Uh, he he's always been like a big house like fan, mm-hmm. like electronic music, and he's just like, dude house and uh electronic music is going to make a big comeback in it the is. next couple of years so he was just like like yeah, he was going to release a project and he was he was like i'm going to do hip-hop and i'm gonna do like a thumb but he was like nah fuck that shit like i'm gonna put my own latin twist on house music mm-hmm. because 2022 comes around that's going to be the popping shit he's smart, airwaves. Okay, that's smart. and then aside from that so he's getting in it now yeah so then aside from that when you're in the hip-hop lane you're stuck in that hip-hop lane Whereas you see a lot of these EDM artists, they do tracks with everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Like Gunna got tracks bro. with EDM. Oh, I yeah. was telling yeah. somebody about that the other day. I was like, bro, if you really think about it, like an EDM, like a DJ, mm-hmm. like you get to, you're free. Yeah, you yeah. get to do a lot of stuff. Mm. As a hip hop producer, if you just randomly make a fucking EDM song, everybody's gonna look at you stupid. Yeah, mm. like until Kanye hop on but, it or something, like and they're gonna be like, "Oh, that shit's hot, bro." Yeah, but still, yep. like, and I yeah, know. I know what you mean. I mean, look at Skrillex or like Diplo, exactly. like for example. Fuck, Skrillex was in the hardcore band when before he mm-hmm. became Skrillex. Diplo and A Track were DJing hip hop before they even moved into EDM. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so they noticed that that's where they could expand their wings and actually reach a lot more people yeah. than hip hop. Hip hop, hip hop is mad closed. So, speaking on that, that's where I'm like done. Like I'm yeah. just like okay, I gotta I gotta kind of like go towards the house music, and then I've been hanging a lot around some friends. That, you know, Kate Trinata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been like, bro, he's a big inspiration right now. Yeah, Kate Trinata's fire. fire. He's a fire. sick ass producer. Is crazy. So like, luckily one of my homies is like friends with him. That's how I met him, and we've just been kicking it, and. Bro, the music that I've just been like listening to the past couple of months, just been being around him, yeah. just, even just being in Ubers, bro, and just like him playing like certain shit. I'm just like, damn, okay, 
Like mm-hmm. he, and he's one of those producers slash you know Bro. DJs that was able to like he he's done shit he's with Freddie Gibbs, yeah. Legend. And then he's he a goes, legend. Yeah, and then he releases his solo stuff, and you're like, yo, this shit is sick. Then he mm-hmm. get, he got then he get so hot off of uh, SoundCloud too. Yeah, off of yeah, SoundCloud, yeah, yeah. he got hot off of SoundCloud. That dude, nice. I seen his concert like he got, two or three years the ago. The Boiler Room, crazy. You remember that? Boiler yeah, Room? Boiler yeah, my room. my homie does a boy like is big in the Boiler so Room. So he shit. just did another Boiler Room. Uh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be talking about this. We can cut it out. You can find out, and if we need to cut it out, we'll just, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll just bleep two minutes of us. Yeah. Time. Um, yeah, but he just did one like a few weeks ago, and that ah, shit. the boy, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. yeah the, shot Rich, fucking. And this K game, fucking. Oh shit! Yeah, Rich was the one that put me on Boiler Room, and he like uh, a few of his friends have DJ and shit there. Dude, but no, was, like, that's fire. They'll like live stream it, and like, bro, it's just just fire. It's, it's just a party, dope, man. Like, if you I just think love it might have been a live stream, honestly. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know those are sick. Yeah. It's and it's like dope to just see so like, like an art form like that. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. if you're just a music lover, like and you like you can just feel the groove and the yeah. vibe. It's different. Yeah. Like like I'm definitely slowly getting out of like the hip hop phase too. I'm like everything I've been listening yeah. to lately is not like hip hop based at all. It's anymore. boring it's, right now. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm just right. waiting for Friday. I praise the Lord that it's good. Nas album? I, no, Donda. Oh. Uh, I'm praying that I'm praying that it actually drops. Well, <laughs> it's not gonna it's drop. It's gonna drop. But it's gonna drop. <laughs> nah, it's gonna it's drop. Gonna but drop. Uh, but I need not, some. I need nice. something. It's not, it's not gonna drop. drop. You don't I think, don't so? think it's gonna yeah. drop. We could put bets. We'll it's put bets on it right now. We'll nice. play this back. It's been nice. Yeah. No. I, I mean, we. You know what I'm saying? Talking, I, I, I heard it on SoundCloud. His name is Hector, by the way. <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs> Hector Rodriguez. But I still need the live. I need like the album to yeah, have yeah, my the full mastered the mastered and, master and all that because I really can't. I try to listen to it and I got mad because I was like, this isn't how I'm supposed to hear it. So I stopped. Can I give my hot take already? It's early. We all get. Right. We get. We can go ahead. And go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he does that, bro. I'm just what you you got the hot take already? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Raymark, you're gonna find this one fast on this episode. I'm not excited for the album. I haven't even listened to it. What? You are capping. No, we no, Kizzy. no, Kizzy. Kizzy. I'm gonna have to Cap. go with him, bro. Thank you're with you. him. You're crazy. The bro. last oh. album was trash. No, no, no. <laughs> what last album? Wait, wait, which, which, which one? What actual album? Okay. okay. I feel like Jesus is King is not. That's a real the last Kanye. album. Technically, that wasn't trash, though, but it was, yes. it was a gospel it was, okay. album. Okay. When I say trash, it wasn't trash. <laughs> It was a gospel I'm saying album. I was expecting like Kanye. It's a gospel. Yeah, it's album. also different because Kanye's trash album is like any but other artist's good album. A gospel album should have still had bars on bars on bars, which it it's didn't. It's gospel, have. bro. You have bro, you ever listened? Come All right, on. so look, bro, I, I used to be in the car nah, with my mom. I can tell you, I'm gospel, bro. I'm excited for this album for sure. I think this one puts him. You didn't watch I, the live stream, I see. Yeah, the live stream. I mean, when Gotta you hear the man. record, I saw the live stream. It, and you I heard, I heard like. I heard all the records besides like the last two. Bro, was, the song, was like, the way he got Lil Durk to just pour his heart out on that damn song is crazy. And Lil Durk, he be like, feature he be selection is key. He be singing feature and selection crying, is key. But when I tell you, Lil yeah. Durk like just gave his all on that shit, and I could just feel it. I'm excited for a hip hop album. I'm, I'm excited like for a Kanye hip hop album. Yeah. But you know if, I mean? it's, if it's gonna be another gospel, it's not hip-hop going. Gospel. It's gonna. Be, but bro, so he's incorporated gospel it. since college you dropped out. I, That's a, Chicago. I, That's I'm like a, Chicago I'm a, I'm a to the to fullest. The high quality shit. Have you, have you watched the live stream? Nah, I didn't you, watch no, it. No, wait. You can't talk about it. I'm just saying, don't even do it. Just wait two days. Wait till Friday. I'm just saying, I'm not excited. I haven't listened to anything. Tomorrow. I think people are over hyping the little snippet that came out. Like, listen. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one thing. <laughs> it's always gonna hate me for it. <laughs> Kanye should have stuck with like the whole fashion thing right after like the whole Yeezys and shit dropped, and he should have just stopped. Bro, like, he is and bro. retired. That's and a, retired. He's bro. capping too. He should have been on the Lil Wayne vibe, bro. And just no, stop. Lil Wayne actually does need to stop. He needs like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like he's still, and he is one of the greatest. Look, I love Wayne. Wayne was one of less, my favorite rappers can, of all can, time at one point, can, but he needs to stop. Nah, except for that no verse cap. on except for the verse on Tyler's album, yeah, that because that verse is crazy. That's what I'm nuts. saying. Like that verse is nuts. He comes back and he snaps. should just do features. That's what I'm saying. He should just so do features. That's, hey, bro. That's, hey, bro. that's it's hey, not bro. That's what Kanye cool. needs to do. Right, that's like same with Nas. I don't know why he's dropping right. another hold, album. Hold up. Look. Who listens to that anymore? I'm <laughs> not trying know. to be disrespectful. They're legends. They're OGs. Yeah, they are. They are. I agree. It's not our generation anymore. like to listen to Donda and listen to the live stream. And then today I'm lifting. I'm at the gym, and I hear finer things That's come on. That's because you're 30 years old, bro. bro. Hey, yo! <laughs> I got an old soul, man. It's cool. I'm, I'm here for it. I, I don't care. He threw out the heat. Yo, he hold up. Listen to listen to finer things. 
Kanye West and Jermaine Dupri and all them. Yeah. And your dad, first of all, and then to hear Donda, it's like, bro, yeah, you have to adapt and it's still great. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be great. I'm excited for it. I, I think this As is gonna master. I think I think this album will go into like maybe his fourth fourth best album i could be completely wrong me I think too i'm just, gonna be I'm honest just saying i'm not excited for you it. Haven't i'm gonna seen listen to live it. stream i think I'm, I'm i'm super excited for it because i've been looking into a lot of it and the people around in the circle and the way they're talking about it it's like not before okay you you watch the, the live stream. the features bro it's crazy i watched the live stream and i have the leak i watched a little bit of it you watch, you're like, like fuck this shit bro i was like yeah. this is stupid bro it was great <laughs> Like I, was like, I mean, it's a, these people, like, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom like all those people just those. to watch him listen to his bro, own. Bro, <laughs> listen, like he's the, the only feet. one that could do that shit. That's the crazy thing. And like, bro. what about the pictures before it? Like, was he really in the audience right before? I don't it? know, <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, people, nah, that was a. Uh, was that were people really that stupid? Nah, not to that was um, he was right there. You're talking uh, about the game, right? You're talking about we was at the the that soccer looked game? like the exact same. Stadium. Nah, so he was at the soccer game the next day, bro. So check this. He stayed in the stadium. He stayed. He's in. He's in Mercedes. Ben yeah, I heard, he been, I heard he's he's paying been like living a bill to live there. Like yeah, it's something crazy. Yeah. Like. Bro, he he had that event on what was it Friday night? Or yeah, Thursday or whatever. Thursday. There was a soccer game the next day, and man, fucking slept in the stadium. <laughs> Probably didn't shower because he had the same shit on. He fucking did. pulled up to the soccer game. Hey, I'm bro. like, yo, what? That's legendary, legendary. in my opinion. Dude, that's, that's what legendary? I'm trying to that do. Crazy, bro. I'm trying to live that life. Man. That sounds hey, like bro. a good life. I, I don't know. So, I'm not excited for it. He's a billionaire. Kanye's going to be the first person to throw a concert on in like space or some shit. Like Probably. That. I, I can see that shit too. I can see it too, That's a good point though. There's like 10 people there. Moving on from that. That was a good hot take. We got another one. I like that. You got. I got another one. We could. We could. We could go back. We'll. We'll, we'll let it breathe. No, nah, I'm gonna go there. You want to do another hot take yeah. right go away? Ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Let him. Get, Hold let on. Get it out. I'm going back to back. Let him get it out. Going back to back. <laughs> got This man. This man, this man two missed two episodes. episodes. He, he said, here. "I'm ready." <laughs> Sixteen okay. bars of death. All right. What? Here's my hot take. Another hot take. Pharrell's been doing what Kanye's been wanting to do the, his whole career on the low. On the low. What do you Pharrell, mean? Pharrell, furniture? What do you mean on the been low? Been doing it. It's not on the low. It's, no, it's nobody, give, nobody gives Pharrell the hype that they give Kanye. You're crazy. Um, I, agree. I disagree. Bro, I agree. I agree I with... with you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with what you're saying. He doesn't get the recognition that Kanye does. I don't. Yeah. But it's bro. not. But it's not low key. Everyone, if you're smart, bro. if you're smart in a Nobody's in a music for real right now. Nobody's but I'm saying, but if you're Pharrell. smart in a music you're head, crazy. you know Pharrell is like a goat. All right. Status. So hold on. Okay. So but he's what, just not as loud as Kanye. I, That's the only difference. Say, can I ask Marketing. You? He yeah, doesn't I mean, market himself as good as Kanye. But I, also, let's talk too. about this as album-wise. Because but, what albums do you have compared from Pharrell to Kanye? Uh, you know, as an artist, mind, as a rapper. In my mind, it's crazy. Though. In okay. my mind, it's crazy. So we got, also did the and, Neptunes. And Neptunes. Okay. And, it's crazy. Um, but I'm saying purely as a rapper. No, but... Um, I, girl. I'm, he's album talking about girl. the whole thing, too. I'm as talking about creative, fashion mm. too, as, a like, listen, as a creative. Think about back in 2000, think, whenever he was wearing yeah, like, the back babe, shorts. Babe, bro, yeah, he made babe. been doing that. Yeah. They all like, been doing. He that. made skateboarding a part of hip hop culture. So I'm not gonna. I'm 100%. not gonna agree with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. For real, for real, it's the shine too. Uh, yes. I don't think Bro, he gets enough he, shine. He does. I mean, he does skincare and shit. He got the girls now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kanye's Dude, about to go into skincare too. Kanye's about to do Fenty for men and that's shit. Watch. Crazy. <laughs> nah, it's a. That'd be a smart definitely. move on his part. I wouldn't knock him. No, for, for sure. But I don't think Kanye is following Pharrell. I'm just saying Pharrell's been doing all of this shit. Low key for low key, a hundred percent. He's not as loud, ever. but they both been and doing Pharrell it. living. He good, but Pharrell, think about it. He's just not like he said loud, and yeah. that's what I'm saying. What do you he's mean? Not like, loud. When you say recognition, do you mean just like in music? Or no, do no, you no. Mean, like, just period. as a creative. Oh, that's a bar. Yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's the man. He's, no, yeah, he's like I said, he he's he's been the trendsetter for years. Of course, been the trendsetter. But they both have. They both do on it. Respectfully and differently, yeah, they have. They're like, both bro, they good both in their own lane. They, they, Pharrell yeah. is good at being low key, and Kanye is being the guy that is always I mean, like, scrutinizing in the limelight yeah. and saying but some But as a shit. creative, as a creative, they're both geniuses. Yeah, one hundred percent. But I feel like I've always known that about. Like, any I almost feel like Pharrell's more of a creative, and like Kanye's more of the business, like yeah. minded yeah. person. 
And Pharrell's a producer, so, bro. He's not a. I mean, he's not a. He's an artist. He's like he's yeah, rapped, but he's, but he's not he's like not, a rapper. He's a producer. I mean, yeah, that's he's what he a came producer. To. He's like a Timberland he, that raps. He's not an artist, but Happy was like the number one song for all. I mean, bro, well, really, you can you can make bro. bro. There's see, niggas, that's the thing there's too. There's hella niggas with number one songs. See, that's the thing too. He's not. I mean, he's not an artist. He's a producer. He's doing fucking movie shit. Mm-hmm. Like. No, he's movie smart. Shit, yeah, yeah, Kanye can't be in no kid movie. <laughs> what are no. you talking about? Kanye yeah, hell it's it's how it's stuff. how Pharrell has marketed himself. He's the low key, tight knit. Pharrell has never had a scandal. He's nah. never had nothing said bad Lord about man. him. If something did, it'd be like when Tiger Woods was <laughs> doing all that <laughs> shit. Everyone would be like, <gasps> like yeah, Pharrell. Like, but even like, if no. Pharrell were to have a scandal like that, it would just go like so go low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would yeah. go under the radar. See, Kanye is like, please talk about it. Yeah, talk please talk about, about me. Please talk about it's, me. Yeah. I'm under the Chris Jenner school of marketing. Jesus I want to be in the tabloids every day. Goat. But no, I feel like I feel Next like they the have government. gotten their flowers. But I mean, I agree with you that he's not as loud as Kanye. He's not getting all that hype. But if you're smart mm-hmm. and you're like in this music shit and know yeah. fashion too, all that, like you know, Pharrell does his thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Race, but I honestly feel where you're coming from, and I do. Like at the end of the day, we'll say if there was no Pharrell, there would probably be no yeah. Damn. 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 Yeah, fact. I, I mean, I really ca- like. I mean, hove, bro, but he kind of paved the path. Like, nah. Yeah, I, I, I need I to agree fact check you. that. I don't no, fact check that. Too. I don't know. I need to fact check. I that. agree with I would, who dropped. Like, well, yeah, hove. Pharrell was probably doing he bass doing shit, shit and all first, that first. For sure, bro. What what was ice cream? Pharrell was, was wearing vape, and he he had ice cream way before Kanye had pastel. Pastel was. Like a carbon copy almost of ice cream and bait. Like, that's what it was. And then he even collabed with bait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Facts. So That's a true statement. I got it. But, <laughs> but I'm going to just take that in. Well, the only you know. difference is, is Kanye can take it and catapult to the next level because Pharrell ain't never sold shoes and all this, like how Yeezy's selling. That's a cap. And then, um, no, he, bro, those He's fucking human, human races, races are going crazy. Say, human races go stupid, bro. <laughs> going stupid uh, for true. six, And those seven, are even more and limited. They've been going stupid for a minute. Yeah. A long time. Yeezy's right. flop. I've been seeing him for 200 on the rack. <laughs> but, but, but he wanted drops. that. Didn't he want that? I want to make affordable shoes. He, he said he wanted that. He That's said he wants his shit in Walmart. In Walmart? Yeah, I was going to say Walmart. Walmart? He wants <laughs> He's going to he want that in Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> the last orange and blue colorway was so ugly. Which one? The 700s? Bro. This was hard. Deep, the deep blue? The deep blue ones? The it's deep so blue bad, ones? Bro. hard. That's his hot take. Yo, We're going to get into shoe ta- discussion on this one. He taught him how to dress. That's what he tries to say. All right. I taught him how to dress. But we'll, uh, we'll move on from the hot takes. We'll move on from the hot takes. Those were good hot takes, though. I like those hot takes. Proud of you, Will. But Thank you. So you were, you were telling us you moved out here. Young cat. 18, 19 is young as fuck to move. You moved out here by yourself? Um, No, nah, actually... I moved out here with my one of my best friends. Okay, word. So you like, but it was just you two, 18, yeah. 19 year old kid, which is crazy to me. I moved out here at 23, so I can't imagine being 19, moving, fucking, not across, I moved across country, but still, it Texas was cool to California. Because like, I had my sister out here too. Oh, nice. So you had people. Yeah. That's all that matters. It's like, it was weird because I was just getting to know my sister too. Oh, that's, okay. Wow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a strong relationship. Yeah. Okay. So it was like the first time I was really getting to like, that's dope though, in a way. Other. Exactly. And she was living in San Diego too? Yeah. So we literally lived like a few minutes away from each other. Word. Like it so was really dope. Fast forward, you're DJing, you're doing all that. That's probably how you're getting into music and your production. Where does where does, you know, the heavy producing come in when you're starting to love that shit and like the fashion kick in for you? Um, I think the producing really kicked in when I was like eighteen. Cause that's when I really tried to pick up being an artist too. Wow. And then I okay. realized I wasn't an artist, which K, uh, Kanye should have done a long time ago. <laughs> but, see, I, I knew when to stop. I knew when to go. Okay, I'll I'm fuck just gonna, with him, bro. I'm just gonna stick to producing. I'm glad <laughs> you invited him, bro. <laughs> what what happened? Did you like record yourself like one time uh, and like you heard nah, it back? Bro, and I was you were actually like, Shit. Nah, I was confident in myself, bro. Yeah. I was like doing it for a few years. Like, okay, I even showed him. I'd be like, Yo, bro, what do you think about this song? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they weren't bad. They were they were straight. Very, very me. I have sometimes. I have a song out there right now somewhere. Yeah, floating out there. We're, but you just you just realize like okay, I'm not gonna continue this. I yeah. can I can perfect a craft rather than like try to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. It was it was more like I wanted to that, and I didn't really like being the man in front of the camera. Got you. Like you're more you're more behind the scenes guy. Yeah, I really? just never hit. I I never liked. I always saw it with my dad. I mean, we could talk about that. Like. My dad has basically been like doing like producing fucking radio, Power One Hundred Six like 
all that shit. Oh shit, word. For a minute. Who's your pops? DJ Felly Fell. Oh. Oh word. LA legend. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So word. go. That's why you said finer things. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he was name dropping. He's trying to get on his dad's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's trying to get, get his dad's early. closet. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get that shit for years. <laughs> wow, that's big. Yeah, shout out Philly Fell. That's dope. Um, but yeah, so I forgot where I was even going with that, bro. Honestly, um, you got you, into producing yeah. when you was, or you didn't want to be behind the camera. Yeah, in front of the camera. Exactly. You weren't yeah, in the front of the camera guy. It was literally just me, just all day long, like seeing that. Not, I, I just didn't like it. Yeah, I was just like that's not me. Because you've seen it, like you said, you were seeing it with him, and you're yeah. like, damn, that's tiring. Honestly, yeah, it was Probably tiring, bro. It would, it would stress him out, and I yeah. would be like, yeah, fuck that. Like, I'm good. I don't do that. I'd rather be behind the scenes, making the same money. Yeah, doing the same thing. Yeah, I could kick it with my girl, do this. Yeah, or kick it with the homies, Facts. whatever. No, I get that. And like, hundred yeah. percent. So, so, so leading from producing to fashion, what were you about to say? Well, I was gonna ask him a question about how you know DJing, your dad being a DJ. Was he put in that spotlight because he was on the radio? Because you're DJing too, and you know I feel like if you're a club DJ or you, you're doing DJing to a certain extent, mm-hmm. you can kind of fly under the radar. So at what point, you know, in your career, where you're just like, I, I don't want to be in front of the cameras. Do I continue DJing, or do I just produce? Um, mm. I think, I think kind of re- recently, honestly, bro. Mm. Like I kind of came to the realize like. I love fashion. Mm-hmm. I love making clothes. Yeah. You know, everybody's going to incorporate my dad with DJing and they're going to see me as a DJ too. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I realize like I love it so much that I can't stop doing it. Mm-hmm. But you I want, for fun. I want everybody to know that I do fashion as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So it's like now I just kind of like DJ for fun. And now it's what I was telling that earlier. Yeah. We get to we get to do house music now. We get yeah. to do like I feel more free whenever I DJ now. Got it. That's dope. Though. That's like, a fire feeling. Yeah, it's not yeah work. Bro. It's like literally like literally. Yeah, I, feel, I always do that's that. That's what but I'm like, saying. Like this bro. is what you're on right now. It's like you're trying to really pursue the fashion shit. Exactly. But it's nice to have your second choice and like, and fun habit to be as DJing. As soon as I freed yeah. that up, I freed way more opportunities up. So I started accepting way more gigs that I normally wouldn't do. Mm-hmm. And mm. then I started doing house parties, and sometimes they were on the low because they couldn't afford it. Or sometimes it's for homies that couldn't afford shit, and yeah. I'm just doing it for free. Wow! But I know at the end of the day, it's the connections, it's the peoples, and I'm yeah. doing yeah. it for the love. So like, and I get to DJ for all the type of music I want to do. That's yeah. fine. So it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah and what fire, you said, uh, the meeting people, man. The DJ is the life of the party. There is bro. no DJ. Okay. There is no party. Bro. So I have, I've even been at concerts and I'm lit as fuck off the DJ spinning before yeah, like an act comes on. on. I'm, just like, I'm just lit as shit in the crowd. The like, other damn. day, bro, I had one of my homegirls call me and she was like, "Yo, can you DJ my party today?" And I was just like, "I was like, is there equipment there at least?" And she's like, "Yeah, you just got to bring your USBs." I was yeah, like, "All right, cool." I was like, "I pulled up, <laughs> big ass mansion party." I'm yeah. just like, "Oh shit." Pull up there, start DJing. Everybody starts getting lit, bro. I have one kid come up to me. He's like, yo, bro, this shit's so lit. When are you guy here? Can I get your number? I have a yacht. I want you to DJ my yacht party next week. <laughs> oh, all right, shit. Cool, bro. What? Yeah, Crazy. Like, what? Bro, it was stupid. That's where all them opportunities Literally, just start that's coming, fine. bro. Same kid, like 30 minutes later, it was like, yo, can you play late at night back? I'll give you $100. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Did you say you had to play it back to back or something? Yeah. Like, he was like, I played you three times. Bro, oh my hundred dollars! <laughs> <laughs> I I've, had, I've had someone do that to me one time. I remember I was teaching a party. Someone's like, "Yo, can you play X?" And I forgot what song it was. And I'm like, "They're like, I'll give you hundred bucks." I'm like. Right, to bro, hear, a, stop yeah, to hear a song. I'll stop the bro. song immediately. Y'all. You, you, you I won't even transition it. I won't even find the RP. Bro, Fuck everybody that was drunk at that point, I was like. I'm good, bro. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Like, you want a DJ? <laughs> you want to? <laughs> you just want to hit that? Okay, you just paid my whole shit. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, DJing for free, got him paid. That's that's crazy. <laughs> Literally, that's that's hundred dollars to hear a song, mm-hmm. bro. If you but people crazy like how that. it works though. But like what he just said, bro. Like DJing for free, like it might got get you, you paid, paid somewhere, or mm-hmm. make make me, make you meet somebody that gets you even bigger exactly. pay. You know no, what I mean? Real. It's all about that. Yeah. Money, you're like, you can't accept, you have to accept all in every opportunity, I feel like. Yeah. Right. And there's always like, I'm not saying that in like, go DJ some like, 
crazy party that you don't know where you're going you know what i mean like mm -hmm. if the if the opportunity presents itself you feel comfortable your gut's saying yeah fuck it why not mm -hmm. i feel like you have to accept that i feel like some like sometimes artists anybody really they're so like hesitant when money's not involved mm -hmm. and it's right. like bro you can't let your career run off of money yeah. mm -hmm. you are going to have to eat you are going to have to pay mm -hmm. for years to do shit until yeah. you actually make some bread bread off this 100%. like 100 percent. like right now we're dumping money into this Bro. The whole time, Crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I got so homies that have yeah. been literally invested in themselves for years, and they're yeah. barely seeing bread off. Of Facts. Their That's it's what you not, gotta do, though. It's long. To <laughs> that's what you gotta do it's crazy cause like I mean, you dropping bread though <laughs> yeah, we dropping hella bread it's like you said, everything it's like you what you said you went to school for a year and you're just like fuck this shit mm -hmm. like I feel I wish more people would let me rephrase this I wish more smart people would realize that they don't have to go to school because if you invest that same amount of money that you're investing in school shit you could probably be two three Bro, times you more successful yeah, Bro, sixty racks could turn Straight into up. an end. It's not even. It's not even just the amount of money you could have saved. Because I mean, shit, I didn't save that much, but I <laughs> yeah. met so many people. Yeah, you learn sure. on the it's fly. Your instead of, You're instead of me studying in a room, which I mean, I'm not speaking down on those people. Yeah, that yeah. Are, no, me either. Not at all. But so at the end of the day, I got yeah. to do yeah. some. At we got two. two. We got yeah. two people with degrees. <laughs> But yeah, like I got to meet those people, bro. And it's like now to this day, like I can call them up and I know like I'm good on whatever it is that I want to do. Like yeah. if it's with fashion and I need a photographer, I got like six or seven photographers I can yeah. call up. Yeah. Or if it's whatever, bro. If, literally, if it's an artist, I need to wear some of my clothes yeah. for something. Like I can do yeah. that. Like your so network cool. is your it's network, cool, bro. bro. Yeah. I yeah. be telling people that network all the time, is the network. <laughs> he taught me how bro. to network the most because I used to be in a bubble, bro. I used he to did, bro. I'm mm. not the type of person to go out Wait, and be like, "Hey, Jordan, what's up, yeah. Jordan?" <laughs> what I do, man. <laughs> My name's Jordan. Sad to, yeah. sad to say, bro. Hey guys, I know. <laughs> what do you do? A lot of people. I know when you were just <laughs> I like, I know a lot of people. See, I'm actually random, that's actually though. a good part of my my. You know, that's me, bro. Network. I'm really yeah. good at it. When yeah. I first moved to LA, I met him and I used him to get to everybody. Basically, no. Care. I like, I like, <laughs> I didn't want to talk to nobody, so I'd be like, "Yo, go see what's up with them." <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> Straight up. I mean, that I mean, that's that what Ro does shyness. with me. Like, yeah. yo, go. Uh, you know, that's so and so. Like, just shit, that broke my yeah. shyness, you know what I mean? bro. I but that's because I had like anxiety, bro. Yeah, I had that's social anxiety. Yeah, and that I shit mean, can be crippling, bro. Like, it's not. It don't. It don't matter. How good you are, whatever, how may, people might portray you by looking at you. It's like if you have that, like, bro, it's literally, it is, feels almost impossible to do it no, and literally. even think about doing Man, it. That's yeah. crazy. Hey, you know what's crazy, though, and how I met most of these people? I'm going to be honest, a bulk of my network is from this guy. Yeah. So it's like, just like, I mean, we bounce your shit off each other. Exactly. Right? I was going to say. We bounce, yeah. It's just how it's always been, bro. But this man, he, he taught me how to maneuver in the club. And that's how I met a lot of people, too. Bro, like, before, yeah, bro especially in LA, bro. You're bro, not going to meet. You cannot move out to LA and, like, sit at a crib. Like, this you have to be out and about, bro. Yeah. Even if it fucking kills you and you hate it and you think it's seedy, hey. like, bro, you got to hit the clubs. You got to hit you the bars, you. bro. It's, you will bump into the craziest motherfucking. I've bumped into. The most wildest people by being at clubs, yeah. bro, and I just sparking up the conversation. Now again. Back yeah. in the day, like when I first met you, you was in the club. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. And then they got old. Now I don't. I, I hated it. And then right before COVID hit, I hated going to the club. I bro. hate going to the club. And then now I just went recently, and like I still hate it, it felt that same vibe. Like everybody's happy. You to still like, hate it. I still hate the club. I'm I just feel not like a club it's a little person, different bro. now, I, especially with DJing it really, too. Everybody's I mean, yeah. happy to be outside. It really depends what you're like going for, bro. Like I feel like. Being like a thirsty ass dude with like your homies trying to hit the clubs <laughs> and get chicks is not the way. It's not the way. Going to the club with your girl and a crew and then also just being there for like the atmosphere Bro, and, that, and all that, that energy that's the wave and that's when yeah. you're like having fun and that's when you just bump into so and so's A&R exactly. or manager yeah. or even that person like you know yeah. what I mean and just being like dapping them up they yeah. remember you you know what I mean shit. Like, that's it. you just be their friend bro Yeah, shit, bro, I have people I be do, coming bro. to me being like yo you're the dude at mama like just off a of name, just yeah, off of me are. working at a bar. You yeah. are. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just are, like, buddy. just by being at a hot spot <laughs> Go. right in Hollywood. Wait, you work at like, a bar? Uh, Mama Shelter, yeah. No way. Go. Yeah. I be mean, going to Mama Shelter. <laughs> yeah. Bro, we got a song called Mama Shelter. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they do. Uh, <laughs> my homie Shay, that's my roommate. Oh, um, word. He's an artist, bro. He's really good. Wait, Shay is in homie? Yeah, Shay with the tattoos. What yeah, that? from the we, party. That's his house. 
Oh, you were there? <laughs> Bro, that's his house. Oh, I, might have, I might have been asleep or something, but <laughs> was he, he was at there. your was he at yeah. your birthday party? Yes. Oh yeah, I was definitely mm-hmm. at his birthday. Oh, we party. definitely met that night. I brought, then, but I, was like, I brought him out like three cakes, bro. Yeah. He's oh the one who shit. Okay. Damn, I mean, we was lit off the we forty two. I bought a bottle of forty two. <laughs> Me and him drank more than half that shit yeah, alone together. Was, yeah, it was bad. So I was lit. But yeah, oh no, worse. So you're in that crib. Yeah. That that whole house is fire, bro. That whole that whole energy in there is dope. They all artists. I was gonna actually hit. I was gonna hit. I hit you up, but then I was gonna have straight too. Damn, I, was was a I thought that's you were not the rebound. You were the first person I hit up, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I hate you. Damn. That's dope though, and that like that's the that's the dopest part I think too is when you're in a house of like constantly around inspiration and your homies getting it because the biggest motivation I feel like is the people in your circle getting after it. I mean, bro, sure. it yeah. takes so long to yeah. get all those people in that house, <laughs> yeah. like Damn. the right people. Yeah, like everybody in there fits like a puzzle bro that's it's perfect man. like we got a musician we got my homie ryan who's a guitarist uh we got ag who's an engineer at photographer he goes crazy like does everything that's dope and then we got my boy ty bro he's moving out I ty's so, moving bro out? yes he's Why? moving out because he wants to go i don't know bro just be bro. with his fam and stuff i mean he live in the garage bro yeah i know but <laughs> Hey, he's he gonna put up. <laughs> he hey, but he no makes the craziest bro, his music. music is crazy, Damn, bro. bro. Like, he's gonna <laughs> pop the fuck off. I'm gonna tell you right though. now. I'm gone fishing, bro. He's Damn, gonna pop the bro, fuck hey, off. Ty is nice. He's crazy. It's random, like, bro. bro. It's like, like I don't know what it is. Like, it's it's something about the stilo. That's kind of how he approaches the music. My yeah, girlfriend hates it. That's how I know it's gonna pop off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh shit! You're, you're like, yo, you fuck with this? Nah, oh shit! <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Damn, Damn, this shit gonna a- be a- crazy. From the Interscope. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Man. Damn, y'all got a creative agency up in that bitch. That's yeah, in basically. that house. The basically, fuck? bro. Damn, that's crazy. That's nice. Though. That's dope. I mean, that's the way to do it out here in LA, bro. Yeah. Is surround yourself with people like that. Yeah, bro. They're it. all brothers. They're all fam. So. It's really nice. That's fire. Those people, yeah. But so touching on because I didn't even know that. So your pops is Felly Fell, which is I mean he's a pioneer in this shit, especially on radio yeah, and DJ. Bro. Like so growing up with with that lifestyle, like uh, what was that like? You know what I mean, bro? I slept underneath that motherfucker's like <laughs> the desk and the radio, like just like this, bro. But like just imagine it, like at a radio. Yeah. yeah. A radio well, his station. boy, his boy's Lachetto at over at uh Row ninety two. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 That's fire, bro. My um, my dad probably knows him. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, pretty sure. I think. Uh, let's see, what slot was he on? Um, he's with the crew show now, uh, bro. Like yeah, ninety two three. I think I met him before. I'm pretty yeah, Lechetto, sure. Lechetto's a vibe, man. He's yeah, good. He's yeah, a yeah. Like, everyone loves him. He's, he's a big funny. dude. Yeah. Not anymore. He fucking not loves anymore. Him. That man. Yo, shout out Lechetto on that weight loss game. Ooh, Sorry for the weight. Dope. He's Going the crazy. one. Sorry for the weight. weight. He's yeah. the one that I'm telling you that he's always been like. Into house music and shit. Yeah, bro. For he's sure. always been like, see, bro, keep those people around because bro, they got like certain like. That's ears. that's been my homie since fucking high school. We bro. played soccer together. It's crazy. Yeah. Bro. That's crazy. So like, you grew up sleeping underneath like the, 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 fucking, dance, the, the DJ desk, booth bro. in the wow. I'll be, be like, Dad, can we go home now? Like Damn. seven hours into like yeah. being at the radio station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's how my summers were basically. Wow. Because I lived in Texas. My my parents split up when I was younger. Yeah. Um. And yeah, so I would just come, come to, come to California during the summer. Like it'd be like the fun. Like oh, I get to spend the <laughs> summer with pops. We go to Disneyland, kick it, yeah. and then like yeah, it was fun. Um, but that's when I really got to like see him produce and see him behind the cameras, and like um, I got to meet like hella people, bro. I was like vibing with Diddy's sons whenever they were younger and shit. Like, yeah, it was fun hanging that's out with crazy. them. That's crazy. And like yeah, bro. So I saw all that. And I realized growing up how stressful it was. That's yeah. whenever mm-hmm. I realized I didn't That's want that That's when you were like, I couldn't do this. Yeah. Exactly. Even Man. with all that shit, like the glitz and glam, the lifestyle he's living, you're like, all to see it, him bro. going through that, my stress level. And he sees it too. I know he knows because like, he I bless, I'm blessed every day because he didn't, he didn't like help me. Like he didn't like pave a path for me to be like, oh, yo, my son's a producer. Everybody like, yo, like, mm, let me get blah, blah, him. blah. I work with him. Yeah. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like he didn't do that and that's good like i try to tell people like that's a good thing <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. i don't want it like that it like yeah. i want it i want to make my like own path build your, you and build like, yourself. do everything bro yeah, so yeah. it's like um when people like find out that's why i don't like telling people who he is yeah when people find out who he is they'll try they get to, a like, stigma or like think especially because i hang out with a lot of artists bro yeah so as soon as like 
that shit gets off um yeah they'll just be like yo can you show this to your pops yo can you do this can, can you, you give me on the radio can you give nah, me on the radio yeah. <laughs> can you yeah. uh, yeah, can, trust can he, me. Nah. Does he yeah, that ain't the way. It took me. Uh, hey, any artist that his friends stop doing that corny ass shit right now. You heard <laughs> right. Here. Stop doing that shit, please. Yeah, I'm me. telling you right now, stop doing that. Like I said, shit. I ain't known that is man not for years. how you do it. I'm That's known not him for how years, you do it, and he never ever wanted to talk about it. Yeah. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's no, I mean, we, we have heart to heart. I'm, 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 I'm happy you opened up about it on the show. You know what Thank I mean? Because you could have you could have held on to nah, that, and not mention it. But like, at a way, that's I feel like that's a light for people to like see in this shit. Because like, especially with stuff like that, it's like you should know that just because you come from a place that you sh- like, you're definitely blessed to have, and your dad has worked hard for that, does Bro. not mean you go out mm-hmm. and you just get you fucking just get handouts. It. Like, you have respectfully and wanted to create your own path and exactly. done so. And it's like, now that's the respect you get. But it's exactly, like, still bro. people can't hear that, see that, and be like, and you can't okay. get me on and the like, <laughs> You know like, what I mean? Like The only people sure. that are going to know are the people that I would want to know. Yeah. So, yeah, at facts. the end of the day, I'm not really, like, really too worried about it. Because yeah. the people that do know who he is. Earth. They know who he is, and like yeah. my roommates didn't even know who he was forever for a minute. <laughs> so like, he came to the crib a couple of times, like yeah, wait, is that? And then I'm like, like, I'm oh, that's together. bad, funny. Are most yeah. of your roommates not from LA? Nah, See, that's, that's why. why they don't know. Yeah, nah. if you're from LA, you know. One of them was yeah. like, yo, you walk in, you like. I mean, shit. How long has he been on LA radio for? Forever, forever. Bro. I was right? in high school and probably middle school, and he was dominating. Damn, you don't gotta give your age. <laughs> no, it's, I'm thirty. He, he said forever. And and well, I was I'm in thirty. Thirty nine. <laughs> he said back in Nam. <laughs> okay. But no, yeah, like, cause you're from LA, you know, yeah, like, of Power course. Six is that. It's yeah. like that radio station, right? Uh-huh. So, you, I mean, fuck, back in the day, he had to get bucking here, which was crazy. He had Akon when Akon was popping. Yeah, facts. So you had that. You had Finer Things. Fuck, you had A. Fuck, sorry. Kanye. Uh, Jermaine Dupree. Jermaine, Jermaine Dupree. Dupree. Neo. Neo. So no, like, he has bangers. Like, I, like as a kid in high school. Yeah, you know. Music oh, his yeah. best friend like, was Lil John, bro. He did a lot of co-producing. Oh, with yeah, him, yeah, yeah. That's right. Up. Like. I was actually going to say that as one of the shot questions earlier. But. <laughs> as a question, like. Out of like the DJ artists. Well, this is a shot question. This is a shot question. Right. So I'm gonna I'm a alter into that real quick. It's uh-huh. like, so like, DJ Khaled, Drama, Felly, like who who is your favorite? Who is your who is your go to band? Damn. Your whole your whole life. You got like DJ Snake. Anyone? DJ Quick. DJ Quick. Damn, DJ that's Quick. A solid one. You know, he used to make the 32 track song mm-hmm. or track mixtapes with all so the crazy many. artists. What was that so app? Many, They're bro. called Quick Quick Mixes. No, what was that app that had all the like mixtapes on them? Oh, oh that piff. That piff? That oh, yeah. Piff. I had all that, that piff was the goat. That, that was a goat. Yeah, yeah. you he know. had all the dedications in mm-hmm. Louisiana, oh, that all that shit. My, I mean, it in line mine has to be drama, bro. Like, yeah. there's something about how DJ drama, like, no, even drama. on this Tyler shit, the nostalgia for me yeah. and hearing it come I'm back bad. like that on, like, the, on that shit, bro. Like, I got so giddy and excited when I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Like, DJ. Call me when you get lost. Like, I was like, oh, shit. shit. I'm, like, I'm, I'm mad like, excited. Let me call him. <laughs> I'm mad excited. I don't know what's happening. You know Why what? do I feel this way? I like your answer, bro. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's I'm drama, with man. That drama I don't know. It's like, and it's like, for me, like, Khaled just be hella corny, but he make he be getting hit records. Khaled, but it's Khaled just was popping, Khaled was bro, smart before, he was like, so yeah. popping. Yeah. He got a lot of the artists that are popping now. I like, feel like he's a big part of Miami being on the map for yes, music for and hip hop, yeah. bro. Because Miami was never known as a music city. Like him once you had Ross. Khaled and Ross Khaled and all was these up boys, there now with like Fat Joe, bro. Yeah, yeah. he was with the Terror yeah. Squad. He, he was there, yeah. Squad, yeah. yeah. Facts. He was, and, just I, and I can't knock Khaled, but there's just something about drama and how he's always presented it and the way he's done the mixtapes and Atlanta. who he's done them with. Yeah, I don't know what it he's is. He's from Atlanta. Yeah. I'm pretty now, sure. Drama's more like of a like a hood hood nigga. <laughs> Cal is just like a bougie motherfucker. But see, look, yeah. I, but <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. I was literally gonna say the same thing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna come back to your answer and say I'm gonna go ahead and pick DJ Drama too. Just okay, because I love Gucci. Did we he all, did yeah. all the? Gucci did we? Tapes. Are we all saying or what? Yeah. What would be? And I mean, <laughs> you don't go. <laughs> I'm gonna go we my pops. We got yeah. my pops. <laughs> no pops had the bangers, bro. Yeah, no, really no facts. Honestly, I would. That I, nigga had all the B. I cannot lie, bro. That's he true. has some bangers uh-huh. that y'all don't even know that are still in the folder right Probably. now. Probably, and that's yeah. a, that's yeah. even the crazy thing. And you have you've had the enjoyment, bro. To what's to crazy? Records. I went over last weekend, bro, and this man hooked up. I don't know if you guys know what an SP1200 is. Yes. So 
That man was making beats on the SP1200. Bro, he <laughs> hooked up the SP1200 to be a MIDI on Pro Tools. I know, bro. It makes no sense. What? I swear he's the only person in this world that hooked up a fucking device that's from 1996. Wow. To be a MIDI for Pro Tools version now. Yeah. Bro, what? It's so essentially insane. he made it a controller. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's what? Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Baffled. And it's one of the ones you put the little discs in. Damn. Like, Fuck, is the SP12 the one with the keys too? Nah, no, it's no, just no, no, the no. literally it's, it's like the little buttons, six the, buttons, yeah, or like eight yeah, yeah. buttons or some shit and some knobs. That's so that crazy. Go up and down. The SP12 is like such a like monumental. Bro, I walked in there. That's this wild. motherfucker's making a beat from Pro to so just that should be clicking that loud too. <laughs> and it's probably dope for for you too cuz like <laughs> you have for the the 24, you said 24. 25 25 yeah. 25 years of your life since you can remember like you've seen this dude in his craft and he still is in the studio with bro. that just like and loving like, it enjoying it bro, i think yeah. like that's the dopest shit ever bro and it's like something that's that i fire. feel like more people need to see bro and yeah. it's like he doesn't like to be in, he doesn't <laughs> in front of the light no more and yeah like, I, I feel it like he stopped doing that a long time he's never really been the person as far like outside of the radio he's never really liked the light mm like um he's always wanted to his private life he loved family for sure he loved all that shit so he always wanted like his close homies to fucking play hoops we used to ball up every wednesday that's dope and, like Facts. he used to have all the close homies just pull up and it'd be like a five on five just for like three hours we just that's ball fire up. damn that's and dope it, we legendary do sessions for years bro and you that's how you would meet certain people too. yeah and um yeah so he would be on that type of vibe yeah and that's a lot of the vibe that other people didn't get to see. And I wish people got to see, like, how now he's bringing that old school music into this generation and still using that fucking controller. That's, that's fire as fuck. Because you, can, you, can't, you really can't replicate that type you of sound. You can't, bro. Yeah. It's, and that's something he talks about all the time. It's like a certain analog sound that you can't. Speaking like. Speaking that you said that the, he's kind of bringing that back, I saw I'm someone back. else. I think I was watching an interview. Someone made a comment about how that 90 sounds going to make a comeback now or like that boom bap sounds going to make a comeback because we've been in like a trap fucking 808 phase for so long that like we were talking about, we're kind of getting bored of what the sound is like. So, mm -hmm. you know, even with the J. Cole album coming out, that was kind of boom bap ish too. I mm -hmm. mean, even the Tyler album, you know, it's a lot of analog ish sounding. I think we're going to go back to that for sure. I so? hope we go back to I, that. Me too. And dude. if not that, at least make that a certain genre so that that can be a thing. Something to be. I mean, to touch like, to touch base on that too, bro, I was fucking. Did anyone watch the Locks and Dipset versus? Nah, I didn't even know. Bro, that was it is fucking Jada Kiss, bro. Oh Everyone's my saying God. Jada Kiss. Oh, I saw that. You had, like, you gotta give that did man you his. Just say flat. that because of Tyler. What Tyler said? Huh? No. <laughs> Wait. What did Tyler say? Tyler go. <laughs> Tyler the creator. Yeah, he goes. Um, I think I got a. I got, I got a crush on Jada Kiss now because of how he talks. Or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, ah, like, that's he still got funny. like a manly ass voice, bro. That's, that's funny. That's no, but like, bro, just the craft, the craft in it, like. Man, that shit really can't be lost or replicated, bro. Like, Dipset and Locks are easily two of probably, like, the best pioneer rap groups of all time. Like, they all had albums. They all have unique styles and voices. But even to see the verses and that craft never leave, like, yeah. bro, like, they're, they're so smart, too, with it. They're about to all tour and shit. They just got added to that... uh What's it called? Lovers and Friends tour. Uh, that's, is that yeah. real, bro? Yeah, that's yeah. a real ass tour. Yeah, they do that shit, like, every year. Yeah. I honestly kind of want to go because I'm like fake. No, it's, like, uh, it's one of these fake ass concerts. I kind of want to go because I'm going to know every fucking song. On um, who's going to be on there? Fat Joe bro, with no, Sean? It's, Usher. Bro, it's Usher. It's Usher, it's and Usher Luda, Luda, and Chris. Little John. Wow. Yeah. Lauren Hill. It's in Vegas. Lauren it's in Vegas. Vegas. It is yeah. in Vegas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lauren Hill's like on there. Nelly's on there. Wow. Bro, like every Ja Rule. Wow. I'll be there. Sean Kingston's on there. Well, bro, Sean Kingston. I'm saying, like, he's down there. He's down there on the list. Like, bro, it's everyone you could think of for, like, nostalgic bangers. Yeah. It's there. That's a whole market, dude. I know. I'm saying market. I want to go because yeah, I'm just I'm like, trying when to are go. you ever going to see this again? I think you it's don't only know like 175 when it's or something like that, too. It's not that bad. No, no. General Admission's like one something. VIP's yeah, so 300. 175 or something. Yeah. I'm on it. 100%. Yeah. Uh, I got hell. <laughs> I got, bro, I got like four concerts coming up. Trying to buy, trying to buy tickets? Let's go. What's up? All right. Yeah. Let's go. I'm already going to Wizkid. Go. I'm going to Wizkid. I'm going to Tame Impala. Word. That's going to be no. I'm going, to roll, go I'm going to roll loud. Where are you? Yeah. Which one, New York? 
No, the LA one. Bro, mm-hmm. you should have applied and for me. Ever since passes. me and you went, I'll never go back to that shit again. Bro, is, that is, shit is it was crazy. Awful. That shit was awful. It was so yeah, awfully the set most up, bro. Organized oh, no. fucking concert. Bro. I yeah, facts. Shit, like. We had to walk twenty minutes to go see Kodak and see Playboy Cardi. Wait, where'd you guys go? The Nas that, event bro, center. It was like that shit was awful. Oh my god. Was it? Like I, got VI, I got the VIP. I got the VIP ones uh, though. Yeah, so I think I get. It was my at own the new though. stadium. No, we did have VIP. Yeah, yeah no, we did we have VIP. VIP. That, shit was, that shit was ass. It was really? bad, bro. It's Damn. bad, bro. Like you. I mean, I'm really going for the main acts: Cuddy, Travis, and Future. Like, I'm just trying to go see them three, Damn, and Future they're all on separate nice. days, so I'm gonna definitely see them. Yeah, you'll see them. But bro. like, I just remember walking, bro, with him, like trying yeah. to get to play to a party. Like, bro, yeah. I just like, remember like crazy. people getting stumbled. <laughs> Stumble, on. yeah. Like, I remember like people literally when Playboy was. Getting on, people were running towards them, and so many people were falling, and people didn't give a fuck. Just like wait, what year did you guys go? This is like 2019. Oh, you yeah, guys in 2019? Like yeah, I was. that was when it first came to California. Yeah, first nah. one. The first wait, one. which one did I go to? Nah, Rolling Loud's been here before 2017 or some shit. Nah, is that the first? The first one was at the new stadium. You might be thinking of Camp Flog now. Nah, because this shit was at the Nas Event Center in San Bernardino. It was rolling loud for sure. Oh, yeah, you're talking about. Oh, so we're talking about the first one in LA. Oh, first one in LA. Oh, yeah, LA. you're talking about San Bernardino. San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's where this one's at, isn't it? No, nah, nah, this one's at the new so stadium. Far. Yeah, bro, I went to that. Uh, I think Future was one of the headliners. Uh, Post Malone, whatever, bro. I think I was like 26 at that time, and I was just like, yo, this. This crowd is mad young. I was yeah. like, I'm never coming to anything like this. Bro, yeah, I'm it. probably gonna go and be like, okay, cool, I did it. I hate if, never What do time it again. are you going? Are you going for the headliners? Huh? You going for the strictly for the headliners? No, I mean I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna live it. Oh no, I'm gonna be in there. Those bar lines are gonna be mad fucking. Bro, short. they're so. Travis isn't even short. fucking headlining short. it out here. I don't understand why. He's what? Not, no, he doesn't. Who, have it's a J Cole, right? It's like, it's like future. Or something. I mean, future's cool. I mean, Just bro, kidding, I'll fuck with I'm future. not gonna lie. Oh, it's not. It's not Travis. It's uh, Cuddy. It's Cuddy Cole and Future. I'm not feeling. What do y'all think point. about Future Live? I, hey, bro, he be lit. No, I haven't seen like future his live. performance. I've I've seen seen I'm not saying it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest, but it's it's there. I haven't seen Future Live. It's there. It's cool. He's just a lean artist. I feel like it's gonna be like around. it's gonna be like Migos. True. He doesn't really nah, bro. Like his he doesn't have a stage presence. I've he seen doesn't have a stage turned. presence. Like you got it, bro. With his type of music, I feel like he should have some type of stage presence. Honestly, like, bro, uh, I would say fifty percent of the reason is because it's Cuddy and Cole. I've never seen. I've seen Cuddy, but I, I think I saw Cuddy at the wrong time. The venue was trash that I saw him at. Where'd you see him at? Uh, it's this fucking stadium out in Massachusetts. It's oh, trash. Okay. I saw. I've it. seen Cuddy in Cleveland, I but I feel Cuddy like release. I feel like now, like with he just released that last album and shit. You know he's gonna touch base on his old yeah, shit. Yeah, the kids he goes. I feel like this shit's gonna be crazy Kitty, seeing him. Or Cuddy's like crazy. Yeah, uh, Cole is crazy, and I can't wait to see Cole. Cole's this nigga really love crazy. Cole. I mean, I saw him for 2014, which was absolutely saying. impeccable. Best album ever. Yeah. Thank you. That's up there for Look, me. He just got one of the hip hop album ever. One of the hip hop. One of the best hip hop albums. One ever. of the best hip hop albums. Yes, ever top sure. to bottom, it's, it's flawless. I it's said his new album's better. But but even I know, which was a terrible hot take. But we'll no, no, on. no, it's good. Watch, but, it's gonna but age even like so, the months. show, what, even the so, new album. That's cool. His performance for that shit was mind blowing, bro. He had like the whole rooftop I setup. I didn't see that one. I saw the fucking. He came DVD out and he literally just bro. he he asked. He said, "Can I just play you my album top to bottom?" He said that at every. That's what he did. I think no. I've seen it multiple times. You didn't say that. <laughs> he said I've seen it multiple times. 2014, he he did that for every show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm saying like not all of his other concerts. Damn, that he's yeah, performed yeah. for. Like you he, know what's crazy? It's just dope to see an album top to bottom live, bro. Like was, I bet of, that was far. One yeah. of the craziest J Cole things that I can remember is I was on the Foot Action website buying some kicks. The banner up top said "Enter sweeps, Sweepstakes to uh, see J Cole." I'm like, man, let's see. I think he had just dropped. I think he was about to drop a sideline story, so he didn't even have an album out yet. High school. Me? No. That was high school oh, for me. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> I was in high school. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, out of college at that point. Or not. Out of college? Yeah. I was already back. Yeah, I was back in LA. But, yeah, that's yeah. beside the point. I remember I was just like, yo, whatever. I'm going to sign up. I ain't going to win shit. I get an email. Like, yo, uh, you have a plus one to the J. Cole concert. I'm like, wait, 
What? What? Bro, yeah. it was at the W in like one of the, like the conference fucking halls. Don't tell me you didn't go. Bro. No, I went. Uh, I went, bro. There was far. like 40, <laughs> there was like 30 to 40 people. That's crazy. Like it was like, I'm right here. Jay Cole's at that wall. I was just like, bro. That's wild. Fuck? He did shit from like. Uh, and you're <clears> telling me you don't think that's one of the best albums? He didn't do that. This was. This is his first Jay album. Cole, yeah, oh, before Sign Line Story. Yeah. I think he had oh, just... Oh, shit. I thought you were talking about 2014. No, 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 no. Dude, this you're was You're talking like, about Sideline Story. You're, you're talking, talking about, about like... 2012. Bro, yeah. he was... Yeah. You're talking about like bald-headed J. Cole. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He had, he had the Caesar cut. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the J. Line Cole, Line up. Bro. He had chains on and shit. Yeah, And he was bro. like, what am I doing? This ain't me. <laughs> this ain't me. This Took ain't it off. Me. Baggy clothes. Took it off. Baggy clothes. Just never did his hair again. Yeah. Who was it? Literally. Extra large. Oh, no. What are they called? Uh, what? Oh, what is it called? Like the extra something tees, the boxy tees, no, uh, uh, nah. oversized, Over, no, nah, no. Nah, they were the old school ones, and they had like a, a the double XL. I know, what, I know what you're talking what about. What were they called? Though? Pro clubs. They had a certain uh, name to them. Like I know what y'all talking. The graphic, yeah. not graphic tees, but they're the I don't know the printed on ones, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, bro. bro. Fuck <laughs> iron on tees. <laughs> I just the know, sublimated tees? No, no, I don't uh, fucking know. I'm in merch and I don't fucking no, know. Just quiet. Brand, You're fired. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm You're fired. fired from my company. We are we getting close to uh the time here though, by the way. It'd be yeah. going by hella quick. That went yeah. by fast. Super yeah, fast. Man. So we gotta touch on a, on a few things. What's up, man? Jo- <laughs> me? Uh, is it me? Is it my turn? You feel me? <laughs> I'm gonna spend Wolf done threw off rapping shit today. Two, okay. three hot back takes. Back. Terrible ones, but it's okay. He's coming out. You know yeah, what I mean? He had to come off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> I came off the bench and fucking I, hit two, I, two I, game <laughs> winning. Two game winning. Three clutch. I'm just saying I had to step up. In the, in, the, in the limelight, I had to step up on a on a big take every week. Which, yeah, you did. Uh, I'm glad that Wolf is back. <laughs> yeah. but, um, you, you put it in my hands last time. Yeah, I was like, you, and nah, he literally I went, it. I you know, like, I'm not going to lie to you. Nah, I ain't going to do that. It's all you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so but, you're not uh, here all the time? No, no, no he's here. always here. He just he just missed like the last two. I yeah, was about to say, yeah. bro, y'all, like, y'all got like a whole vibe. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. I know we were missing him. We were missing him. <laughs> we did. But uh, Jordan, what you got this week? Did you gear one up? You gotta <sighs> let the people know. Come on, it's time for that self care tip. Self care tip. Come on, man. It's gonna be more life tip though. All right, time. that's fine. Yeah, all that's right, self care. My life tip this week is gonna be find your freedom. Mm. You know I mean? Find your freedom. You know what I mean? Okay. A lot of people strive for money, like you were saying. They do yep. a lot of jobs. They do a lot of shit that they don't like. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm one of them, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, at the same time, and the only reason I'm saying I do, I'm one of them, is because now I understand my mission and how I want to create. Yeah, I want to do all this shit to create freedom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, I want to do whatever I want. Facts, you know? and everybody yeah. wants to find so your freedom. Find your freedom. You know yeah. what I mean? Like once you find your freedom and your passion, like you just go to it. Hell yeah! Just, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Felly, I just agree. Like, like, Felly, I know? agree. So and like, but there ain't no time stamp. There's no age. That shit can happen at any given moment when you find it. You could be I'm 45. So, exactly. I'm boom. so tired of like putting a time stamp. There's like or different age freedoms limits. you find too. Facts. Yeah. Facts. You, Facts. Yeah. I mean, that's what you said. I found freedom in music. Music now, wow. wow. thanks man. Wow. Clap it up, clap it up. Mm. That's for joy. Thanks man. <laughs> Yo, um, you brought some pieces with you. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah we got to show them off you. too before. So I'll give us a little background on touch base on the yeah. brand. Let them know the name of the brand. Um, what your what what like you know how everyone gives like the mission statement, <clears> right? So I want I'm not going to say that, but just give give it while you're doing this. What you think the brand represents and why you think people should yeah, come yeah. and rock it? So um, basically, the brand is called Amor and Fedmo. Which mm. means um, sick love. That's a sick oh, name. Dope. Uh, so basically, it's like I thought of that when I was like 18 years old. Wow. And I was just like kind of just riding on it for a minute because I just always knew I wanted to make clothes. <laughs> just didn't know like how I was going to make clothes. Mm-hmm. Didn't know I was actually going to make them by hand either. Yeah. I was always like, I'm going to go to a factory. I was always asking him if he knew people. Like, yeah. It Try. was crazy. And then one day I just got a sewing machine. I said, fuck it. And That's fine. Myself, yeah, show like, it in there. You can do that camera right there. Dude, Show them. Bro, yeah, those are fire, bro. Bro, like everything. So you're doing everything hand? Everything, bro. Wow. Like, yeah, the damn. bitch is hard. There's my size, they'd be in my hands. Or on my body. I got one for you. <laughs> I know. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. You gotta watch it. Yeah, Yo, you need them. E- you need them the thirty two ways with the extra the extra leg width. Hey man. Nah man. Thirty three. <laughs> thirty three. Thirty three. Thirty two too small for you, boy. Be in the gym rap. too much. The candy canes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Those are my yeah. favorites. Yeah, bro. But um yeah, so yeah, honestly all fire. it was was just like COVID. 
COVID hit. Mm-hmm. Now it's bro, just like, COVID's a blessing, bro. And it, it really see is. that. So I mean, it's not a blessing because like a lot of lives were lost, lost, and it's a. Uh, you know what I mean? That sucks. For sure. And it's like, it's not a great thing to have happened, but you're going to hear you that. Found, We're going to hear that so much, yeah. bro. We're going to hear so many people be like, thank God COVID. And so many for real. Like, and it's what not, the fuck? it's not to, like, it's not to take away anything, yeah. but it's also, if, if you took the time that you had to finally do something, it was like, that never would have happened if COVID didn't happen. Bro. Yeah. We all got an early retirement to be like, what can I do? What do I want to do? I have all this time to invest in. I like how no, you said that. You know early retirement. I mean? Early retirement. Fire. Like if you didn't if you didn't take the time to, I'm sorry, but like you fucked up and you really I don't think you're just gonna be stuck at that job that you're at. And you know what? It's Some people, people are cool didn't. with that. There's yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even knocking those people, but like you said, like fucking COVID, bro. Mm-hmm. Like this shit right now would not be happening without COVID. There's a lot mm-hmm. of people that I know that got comfortable with it and just settled. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that I know that push the throttle, and they realize what they really wanted to do in life. Comfortability, bro. That's it's a one thing, yeah. Bro. You can't man. stay comfortable. You Find can't be freedom. comfortable, bro. Trust I me, I love being comfy, man. I me love too, being boy. laid up. You can be I cozy. Love being you, can be you can cozy. be cozy, but but you can't be comfy. Bro, you get in a comfortable <laughs> situation, you can't cozy. Break Cozy. Come cozy. soon. We say no kizzy. Nah, cozy. No kizzy. Yeah, no we kizzy. Stay we stay cozy. Stay tuned. No kizzy. We stay cozy. Did you die those too? No, so the, these are just like denim, bro. Just yeah. from Sandy Alley. Oh shit! Wow. So fire. A lot of a lot of my fabric. I shouldn't be saying that. a lot of my fabric comes from Sandy Alley. <laughs> it's okay, bro. That's the fashion <laughs> district. We'll, 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 we'll bleep it out, bro. The fashion district. Yeah, this girl 100%. that I go to, I won't say her name, but she's yeah. At my least best don't drop friend, that, bro. <laughs> she's my. Best she has friend. the best denim out there right now. Oh, I that's swear to God. I haven't fire. seen like there's some crazy shit that I haven't brought yet that I'm working on right now. Yeah, I haven't even showed you yet. I bet. It's like a different type of denim that, I, like, changes color. It's crazy because that's I, fire. It's crazy. That's bro. dope. I felt that, and it's like mad soft, and like denim's usually a little heavy. She goes crazy, bro. Yeah. If you ever want some really nice denim jeans, bro, <laughs> I'll like put, you, put you. I'll put you on. <laughs> he ain't gonna say, say it on the name. podcast. <laughs> we'll speak off camera. Yeah, it's gonna be sure. some off the I record type nah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got Wait. some connections for you too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all pass around connections. <laughs> Let's do it. No kids. But we got to... Uh, we, that we that got should be like a little thing. segment here. Like a little like... Pass around? Yeah. <laughs> Just give out... A, I'm going to give you connect. Like a little postcard. <laughs> all right. Like, Don't show that know. to nobody. Take that with you. Here's there the connects we brought this week for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan said we should eat weird shit. <laughs> He's like, we should pass around connects. I'm more on that end. Yeah. Pass or connect. I'd rather eat some hot ass chips to see how I feel. Or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, He's just hungry though, all, all the time. I am yeah. starving. Yeah. You know, I'm I am the person stuck. I want to bring we up got, the tequila. We too. got a DoorDash. We got a DoorDash. Something for my man. You got quick. me. Don't worry. I got you. Appreciate baby. you. Man. I got you. What do you heard? But uh, we got to <laughs> we got to hit that rapid question segment. Oh yeah. Honestly, yeah. I fucked up because I changed these questions and apparently you didn't save. Motherfucker. So I have the same questions from the last episode, but. I'll try to freestyle some of them Let's to, get it. to okay. gear more towards what, what you, you were doing. These are, they're going to be fast. I but these are random fast. questions. Uh, you got to answer them in 45 seconds. Oh, shit. You're not drinking right now. So if you don't, I will willingly take the shot. I just have a I didn't say so Drake's name this that. whole episode. Fuck, you just said it, bro. Yeah, that's whatever. That's fine. Wow. But wow. I didn't bring that man hit up. The, hit the claps. Hit the claps. I'm proud of you. Whose name? Drake. <laughs> Bro, you got a Drake a meter, Drake writer? If, yeah. Yo, he's, he's if, a Drake if I say writer. Drake's, we decided that when I say Drake's name, is probably you see it on the episode. I'm gonna get a little meter. Drake's and when face it fills, pops up. When, oh, it, when it fills up five times, I gotta take a shot because yeah. I just kept name dropping every time. Like, yeah, but they don't do it like Drake do it. And they were like, bro, you literally have to stop. Bro, <laughs> so it really got excessive. You're bro. at three. It was bad. You're at three. Do right that now. every single time no, 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 he no, says no. bro, those, and then you'll just like or yeah. get up kizzy. <laughs> but no, those don't count when I bring it up. Like if I like <laughs> nonchalantly in conversation brought that na- that man's name up, then it counts. Wow. But me willingly knowing, like, hold up, I haven't talked about him. Yeah, that don't count. I'm over you. But uh, <laughs> do your questions. We need uh, we need someone got to get you. my timer ready. I got but yeah, you. so I'm bro. These are gonna be random. All right, cool. I have some questions written down here that don't apply, so I'm gonna have to figure. Are it out. Are you pregnant? Uh, She's literally, bro. <laughs> <laughs> some random shit. I it's think some random not. shit. All right, I'm ready when you are, buddy. Uh, all right, you can you can cue me up. Give me a three, two, one. one. Give me a three, two, one countdown. And we'll go. You ready? Yeah. Hold on, I put 45 right. minutes instead of seconds. Damn, bro, we about to. That'll be the whole voice. episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are right, you ready? Yep. Go. All right. Fuck Mary Kill. Beyonce, Rihanna, or Kim K. Fuck Beyonce, Mary, Rihanna, Kill Kim K. <laughs> favorite. <laughs> who's your favorite rapper of all time? 
uh, J. Cole. Okay. Yeah, Who's your favorite designer of all time? Um, Rick Owens. Okay. Okay. If you could be one or the other, DJ the rest of your life, right? Or be a fashion person, clothes and everywhere, you living off that, which one would you pick? Fashion. Okay. If you could have one artist get on one of the records that you've produced, who would it be? Um, My my boy, Maxi, for sure. Where? All right. Yeah, I you, didn't even talk about Maxi. But you yeah, did. We'll talk about him. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Would you rather be at a smoking party or a drinking party? Smoking. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, pizza. For so sure. Lobster pizza, pizza, though. Just finish. If y'all Lob- never had lobster pizza. How many was that? I don't think. Uh, no, we had two left. Damn, yeah. it's because I had a freestyle. That's a guy. We'll finish, though. Go ahead. Are you ba- you a sports fan? Yeah. All right, LeBron or Jordan? LeBron. Kobe. I'm going to go with LeBron. <laughs> Good choice. Uh, favorite. Yo, who's your R. favorite R. artist? Who's your favorite <laughs> artist current? Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, I was I was doing a ch- to him choosing LeBron. Like that's, <laughs> that's a funny joke. Oh, Not Kobe. Oh, no, never Kobe. All right, pick. All right, who's right who's now. your favorite artist currently though? Who you listening to? Who you got on repeat? Anybody? Not hip hop. Anything? Right now, honestly, bro, I've been just knocking everything from K's K Sound Club, bro. Back in the old day, like Word. just Word. back on that house music vibe. Yeah, he had bangers. Fire. Yeah, bro, he has nice, bangers. Man. We didn't get it, but I'll take a shot for that. It's okay. Yeah. I got you, bro. I'll hold you don't it need down. an excuse. Yeah, hey, man, <laughs> I don't need fuck? an excuse to take a shot. Cheers, cheers. But um, yeah, I mean, I'll put this down first. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll put it on camera. I'll put it on record. I feel like I should have drank. I should have. I should have smoked or drank or something. If we, if we could have smoked, I have a fixation, bro. I've been trying to stop puffs. I haven't been puffing lately. Proud of you. Bro, that's good. Proud yeah. of you. Puffs no, are bad for you. Got you out here <laughs> making moves. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it, bro. I mean, that's that's it. I mean, thank you for coming on. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. I'm me, I'm excited bro. for that. I mean, the the clothes are absolutely fire. You're definitely thank in the right you. alley, bro. Appreciate you. You're bro. definitely like not just doing something because you're like thinking, hmm, well, I think I can do fashion too. Like, <laughs> no. It's fire. The product speaks for itself. Thank you, the man. people are going to check it out. Um, it was dope to hear your story, the background, too. And you know what I mean? And it's I think it's great. But I, whatever people do get from this specific episode, I think the most dopest shit was to know, like, your background and your family and where you are as a human and how you took that. And I think that should speak to people on the masses. Like, no cap. never look at someone, never look at anything no and, and instantly no be kissing. like, oh, OK, like you're building your shit on your own. You're not going to, you know, so-and-so with this. You're doing it on your own, and people Facts. need to recognize that. So stop hating. Stop capping, like, all the time. Fuck y'all. No kissy. <laughs> thank you, bro. Got you, bro. Yeah. Wanna say and thank you for coming on, bro. Yeah, yeah and thank absolutely. You know, happy thank you for coming you, on, man. bro. Appreciate for sure. You. If absolutely. you were to have some last words for this episode, you know, what yes, would you say? Yes, please. Shout, yeah, get, also give out the handles where people can find yeah. you, to all that stuff. everyone out there, just do whatever the fuck you want to do, no matter what anybody says, no matter what path you're supposed to be on, what you think you know your dad did your mom did whoever the fuck it is like just follow your own shit create that shit and do you and that's it really Facts. that Love shit it. sounds corny Facts. as hell but nah it's that's true it's, it's not right no right easy. Now, bro. It's the not. corniest shit is the most true shit ever it literally is, sometimes yeah true most it's of the time like y'all are doing it sure. right now like this thank right you bro, here, bro. <laughs> i appreciate this it this is bro. good as fuck i right, appreciate bro. it man it's saying hey we had it one at one episode at a time bro really and like, number 13 let's go hey, yeah let's go hey lucky 13 we got it episode viral viral episode right i'm looking so beautiful Mm, all right and on that note we're gonna end this <laughs> abruptly <laughs> but no uh we appreciate you coming on man i'm excited we're gonna stay in touch for sure absolutely you, you know could, the vibes, uh but. by the way you guys can follow uh amod and fedmo it's at amod and fedmo on instagram and it's amod and fedmo.com and you can find Dope. me at styles with the z hell yeah and we're yes, gonna sir. post that all on the bottom too so they can get it we got you hell absolutely. yeah absolutely that's it. Thank y'all for tuning in to this week's episode of All Base No Trouble. You know appreciate what fucking y'all. time it is. We appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Episode 13. Peace, go. fuck, Wolf. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw in the ad libs, bro. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this week's episode of All Base No Trouble. If you could please subscribe and like and also get the notification button smash for us, that would mean the world to us. If you'd like to keep up with myself, my co-host, or our special guest this week. All of our social medias and info is right below. And if you would like to listen, tune into Apple Podcasts or Spotify as you can hear us on there as well. Again, thank you so much for tuning in this week and I will see you on the next episode.